The global garment sector provides jobs to an estimated 90 million people around the world. Better work exists to help actors in the sector ensure that these jobs are safe and decent. But how do we know if our efforts are having the intended impact? We have continuously invested in independent research, collaborating with academic partners from a range of institutions to analyze the data produced by our program. To interview workers and managers in garment factories and to elicit insight from business and policy leaders where we work to understand the impact of our efforts and to push the industry forward. Here are the findings from the last five years of independent research examining our program and the garment supply chain. If the conditions of work are decent, jobs in garment supply chains can be transformational for development and better work is a key driver of improvement. Workers frequently migrate from rural areas for their first formal job in a garment factory. If they are unable to exercise their fundamental right at work, such as being able to freely voice out their opinions, choose their work freely and operate in safe conditions free from discrimination, they would be worse off for taking this first job. But we have found the opposite in better work factories. When workplaces participate in better work programs and also have a focus on continuous improvement and respect the labor standards and regulations, workers are more likely to receive higher take-home pay, work fewer excessive hours, feel comfortable airing their concerns and see garment jobs as long-term career prospects. Workplace social dialogue and sound industrial relations are critical components for ensuring decent working conditions. Building trust and cooperation among workers and managers is the core of Better Work's approach to improving compliance in factories. Worker-manager committees that maintain independence and gender balance have improved working conditions and broker new conversations at the workplace. The presence of formal industrial relations mechanisms such as collective bargaining agreements has a high correlation with compliance with the law and better working conditions that also include wages and paid leave. Our program promotes gender equality in the workplace, but there is more work to be done. In Ethiopia, 88% of garment production workers are women. Our data shows women and men have different experiences at work with women occupying lower paid positions and having limited prospects for promotion. Better Work helps to close gender pay gaps by ensuring compliance with pay regulations. Moreover, sexual harassment has been identified as an issue across the garment sector. Better Work helps address these threats to equality and decent work. Training that tackles the taboo of sexual harassment was shown to reduce concerns about harassment by 17%. Despite this progress, gender norms such as the unfair distribution of unpaid care work must be addressed for these changes to be fully realized. There is a clear business case for decent working conditions and global brands and retailers are part of it. Factories in the Better Work program experience an increase in average revenue and some, depending on their position in the supply chain, experience higher profitability. For instance, after enrolling in Better Work, factories in Bangladesh saw their export revenues and volumes grow by 50% higher than factories outside the program. Once enrolled in the program, these suppliers on average were able to attain product prices from their buyers that were 5% higher than similar firms outside the program. Such price adjustments are necessary when costs for compliance to firms potentially outpace productivity increases. For a business case for improved working conditions to be sustainable, 
the pricing and commercial relationships between brands and their supplier must reflect the increased investment needed for compliance. Our data shows that policy incentives and collaboration with local actors can be scaled up and can sustain our impact. This means going back to our roots of leveraging trade agreements to ensure compliance with labor standards. Trade incentives can be a useful tool for encouraging better working conditions in supply chains. The presence of better work increases the industry's competitive positioning since garment exports from garment-producing countries increase with the presence of a better work program. Our focus on transparent reporting, building the capacity of supply chain actors and complementing the work of national constituents to promote good governance is creating a roadmap on how to sustain the positive inroads our program has made in the lives of workers and the performance of firms.